The Royals hosting the White Sox Monday night in Kansas City. The Royals honoring the women who played professionally, commemorating the 75th anniversary of the league. That was, of course, the inspiration for the film A League of Their Own. Pick up the action this one, leading off the bottom of the first, Whit Merrifield facing Lucas Giolito. Gonna have to kind of wait him out. How about that one? Or jump right on him. <laughs> Deep left field, gone. Whit Merrifield gives the Royals a 1-0 lead. Sweet! Escobar up there, his average 220, four home runs, 28 driven in. In on the hands, a little pop up up along the right field line, and it is going to drop. A run is in, throw to second for the force out. So the Royals take a two to nothing lead. Escobar loses a hit. And it's a 1 1 count now to Adam Engel. Engel drives it to center field and drives Goodwin back, and that's over the wall. Adam Engel hits his sixth of the year. And that's home run number seven for the White Sox against Jacob Junis this season. Now the batter is Daniel Polka. Here's the pitch. Swung on, belted down the line, into the corner it goes, and gone. That's a home run. That is his 22nd home run of the year, his fourth against the Royals, and now Chicago has taken a 3-2 to two lead. O'Hearn has flied to center and grounded out to first. That fastball is ripped. Deep center field, gone, and another home run for Ryan O'Hearn. Ryan O'Hearn to tie the game at three. Goodwin has a leadoff stand-up double. Now we'll see if Escobar can move him over. Likely see a bunt here. Escobar's very comfortable doing that. Bunt is down. Gomez looks to... Oh! He throws high! And here comes Goodwin down the line. And here come his teammates out of the dugout. The Royals walk it off on the White Sox 4-3 in 10 innings. Brian Goodwin two hits and scores the winning run. Jacob Junis another strong start. He allows three runs in eight frames, striking out five. He gets a no decision. The White Sox have now dropped six in a row.